A good great morning guys and welcome to the realest thing coming out of Guyana to the world. Yeah. Well here now, just before I come out, eh, I had to sink and must my energy because I am in a state presently, physically. And this morning when I was coming down, I said, I was thinking, I have never felt so wholesome. So again, my body is going through a lot after being three days without water. I ain't telling you about a little sip. I ain't telling you about try a thing and you know if I tell you something, it's done. You understand? I've been through a lot. I've been exercising for normal. I um, go for my five mile walk in the afternoon. Um, I've been working per normal and I'm going to tell you the kind of changes my body is going through. So, mentally, I'm fully well aware of what's going on and all the changes in my body. I'm feeling that and that is the only difference. I'm not feeling drained. I'm not feeling frustrated. Mentally, I am more aware of everything that's going on within my body. Right? Now, I've never feel, felt this way. I have been dehydrated to the stage that my lips crack up. Bear in mind, I'm also in a dehydrated state presently. Because it can't be anything else if you don't have or use water or liquids for three days. And I'm in three days now. My throat dry. When I talk into you, saliva barely coming. My urine is yellow. That means as the kidneys try to reuse and use and reuse whatever liquid is left in my body it's coming down you understand it's bringing out everything to the max so we started and let me show you that so we started at i think 224 pounds if i'm correct and right now these are the pounds that i have when i woke up this morning immediately um I had 210 pounds and then I went into the washroom, did number one and number two and came out back and weighed again and I lost about a pound in waste, right? It's in cleansing the body. So today at about 12 o'clock, I'll be coming off of my water fast. I'll be using, I'll be drinking the blue spring water. It's just good clean nice taste in water so i'll start with that between 11 and 12 o'clock today and i'll be putting in some pink himalayan salt because it's the closest i have to natural salts the celtic sea salt is a good salt with about 84 minerals in it because the salt we use use sodium we use is a bleached product it doesn't have anything of value in it the soda my all is used for cooking, so it doesn't have anything of any value in it. So I will be using this with a little bit of salt. I'll start um, today at 11, 12 o'clock. And then I'll go on with my diet for as long as I see fit. Um, I'm looking at my weight. My ideal goal and target would be... Um, so in terms of waste in my body, maybe I got about half a pound of waste more in my body. It's been three days now, now completing three days. Um, and as soon as I start using liquids again, start using water, um, just black coffee, black tea, and I might not even go in using black coffee and tea until the weekend. It's going to be water with a little bit of salt inside so this can go right in to my cells immediately into my cells my body can up start absorbing this water and then 
it's a case where my body is going to start flushing all the toxicity that has built up within. Because what liquids do in your body, what water does, what H2O does in your body is move things around. How your nutrients move, how everything in moving your body, water. That's how important it is. And a lot of people don't drink the physical water, don't drink a bottle of water. But the body has the capability to take out water from anything. If you drink, if you eat watermelon, 90% of watermelon is water. So if you eat watermelon, the body pulls out the water, H2 out of it, and it circulates in your body. It helps it move in your red blood cells. It moves in your blood cells. It helps with the temperature in the body. Water helps with everything. It helps with activating down to the molecular structure in your body, the cells in your body. I talk into you. Tr froth is in the back of my mouth. Well, I got some people that be frothing when they're talking normal and the belly full of water. Yeah, so, so I don't know what it is. So let me go through some of my fans this morning. Sally um, Jones. Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of these names. Pamela, good morning. Um, so what's been going on with me and how am I feeling? I did 10 push-ups this morning when I came off the bed just now. Last night, I had a problem sleeping. Last night, I had a problem sleeping. So that's the one of the massive shifts in my normal habits that I notice. Could be two problems. It could be how my body feels. You can't have problems sleeping if you're tired. Normally, I do. Yeah, you know, yesterday I had some rest during the day, but also yesterday to make sure I do not become dehydrated in my sleep last night, as a matter of fact, to make sure I don't become dehydrated because you don't, you, you, you got to study these things. Even in breathing, your body uses moisture from within. Your lungs is one of the most moist areas in your body. Hello, Hello. good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am all right. Um, can I call you back or were you calling into my live program? When did I call? No, I was just calling you well, since to you're... ask you a few things. Okay, but since you're here and you are a fitness buff, I think you should stay on. And for my viewers, oh. this is one of my followers from the UK. You don't get catch. You can't come off. This is one oh, of my no. followers <laughs> from the UK. Just talk. Don't play shame here. So I oh am goodness. at 209 pounds as we speak. And mm -hmm. um, have you attained your fitness trainer certificate? Not as yet, but I'm really close. I'm almost there. Beautiful. So guys, you're talking to somebody that, and although she's very private with her life, she is um, very beautiful, very fit, lives in the UK. So I'm giving you a little snippets and is working on getting her um, fitness. Is what, what, you, what are you doing? Tell me, tell me is what it is exactly. Uh, level two, um, level two and level three in becoming a personal trainer. Beautiful personal trainer. Um, I have been doing since I, I went to the UK and we met. You know, I was fasting when I was in the UK. I was on a certain uh, diet, never. as a matter of fact. Yes. So I have lost 78 pounds so far. That's amazing. Yes. And I do a five mile walk, which is equivalent to about 10,000 steps um, in the afternoon, most afternoons. Presently, I'm going through my third day of a dry fast. Do you know what a dry fast okay. is? That means no water, no liquid. Roger that. Nothing at all. So today, 12 o'clock, it's going to complete three days exactly. Um, mm -hmm. I have, I have um, you know, introduced these lifestyle changes in my life for a better, healthier living. Tell me something. Um, 
how has a better, healthier living worked for you in your life? Can you tell the viewers so it's not about me alone? Well, personally, it helped me physically, mentally. Um, I didn't like how I looked, and I started working out, and it's helped me tremendously. My body is so much fitter. Um, I love how I feel. I love how I look. I love that I'm able to pick anything up because I've gained some strength over the past years. Um, I'm not just doing this because I want to look a certain way. I'm doing this because as I get older, I, I want to be able to climb stairs. I want to be able to do certain things. I don't want to. I'm trying to prevent bone density. I'm trying to prevent all these heart disease. You know, prevention is better than cure. So I'm trying to make myself a healthier person as I get older. What is your diet like? I eat anything and everything, but in moderation. Very, very moderation. Like, I would eat rice, so I would like to rotate my rice. I would not have rice today. This morning, I had a, a protein bagel, two eggs, avocado, and a coffee. And for lunch, I'm going to have some stew chicken, mashed potatoes, and some broccoli. And dinner, I don't know, something light. I try to, like, get all the varieties of the vegetables. I do consume carbs and lots of protein and lots and lots of water. And I walk a lot, 10,000, 17,000 steps a day, and I work out four days a week. Do you feel bogged down with your life or this has become a new bright life for you? No, not at all. I love it. I love my lifestyle now. Okay, okay. Because as some people think it's... Um, you know, it's it's kind of a bog down. But, you know, since I've started doing this, like this morning, I'm coming down. And mm -hmm. while I speak to you, my mm -hmm. in my mouth, there's dry froth because I am yes, becoming to some dehydrated. extent dehydrated at this time. But I can yes. tell you, I have never felt so pure in my yes, life. I have never felt so good after a great meal, after some of the most amazing meals, you know, nice steak, all the things that I like. I have mm -hmm. never felt so good. No, they got many days. I drink something, eat something, I feel good. But I don't feel like waking up in the morning and going down and doing 10 push-ups. I start doing 10 push-ups, anything. I go to the office yesterday, talk to them a little bit, come outside, stand up in the sun, do 10 push-ups. I wake up this morning, go to do a 10 push-ups. You understand? Naturally, mm -hmm. I've started integrating that in my life. I start strength. feeling a hunger to, to test my strength. And imagine at this stage, you're three days in, not only fasting, but a dry fast. And I must say, I'm no doctor. I'm not recommending this to anybody. Even if I recommend dieting or a diet plan to you, it will not include a dry fast. I can tell you, last night, in my bed, I lie down and I'm thinking, if I were to die in my sleep, I crank up the AC. Oh my God. <laughs> I crank up the AC to make sure that I don't get a heat stroke in my sleep. Because it's me and Paul alone in this place. I, nobody comes and check on me in my room. They will just find out that I pass out in the morning. It is so serious. The extent it that is, I'm pushing my body to. It's not sustainable. It's not susta sustainable for a long term. So the be mindful and listen to your body. So here now, since we're here, it's not to say you're not on social media, but you're just not on, on a grand scale. Send a photo that is worthy of me posting and let me show them who we're talking to and what it really means <laughs> to be fit. Send a photo. We okay. can talk later. Okay. A nice right, photo. Take care. Safe. Uh -huh. So there's one of my followers and supporters out of the UK. And you can see what it means to live. And we met up when when um when I went to the UK. And she always check up on me to know what I'm doing, how things are going with me. Guyanese gal in the UK. So um yeah. No, I'm telling you. I would recommend fasting any day. I would not recommend dry fasting like the way I am doing it. I'm pushing my body to extremes to be able to tell you what can happen and what can't happen. You Google dry fasting. 
certified, qualified doctors will tell you to not fudge around this thing. Not in those exact words, but you get the message. Dry fasting. And I sit down and I think about my opponents, my enemies, my competitors. And I ask myself if they know who they're dealing with, if they know why I'm a success. Last night, I was in my bed. So I tell you the only difference I had since I've started the dry fast. Last night, I received a lot of calls after yesterday morning video with the independent women. A set of women who I don't think fall into the category of independent women, but might fall into the category of ignorant women. Carl, so when you're calling it, one time they can I ask you, what do you think I meant by independent women? No, they say, you go and look it up. I said, no, if you're getting into argument, you got to tell me why me you're getting into this argument. What context do you think I was speaking about independent women in? But we ain't going to talk about it here anymore. We're going straight over to the man giving it. And we're going to have women on. Right? So, I um, couldn't tell you last night now. So I started sleeping about 8 o'clock. A little early. I normally sleep about 9, goes to 10, 11 sometimes. And then I start getting these calls. But normally if I wake up and I answer a call, I answer all my calls. But once I wake up, I answer a call. And then I go back to bed. I sleep right away. So, you know, I get in like a little half an hour to sleep. I have to watch a video and all these things. I do not know if it's as a result of me cranking up the AC to 16. <clears throat> right? I don't know. And so much changes in your body. I've been checking my breath. Right? But sometimes you can't even smell your own breath. Because it's within you. So you wouldn't get the same smell. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello. Hi, ma'am. Please turn down the volume in the background. Turn off whatever you're listening to. You talk directly to me on the phone. Yes, hello. Yes, ma'am. This is, this is um, Siraj. I call it from Borbis. I call it Consort Me Transport. I'm asking you for help. This is the time, long years. I call in every time I go in and say, come back, come back, come back, and the same situation. So you bought a property from who, and who do you expect to give you transport? The, 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 um, this is the way call it, the government, the land they were selling. Ministry of House Housing? Landing. Yes. Which area did you buy a house lot in? Plantation Hope Borbies. Hope That's Borbies? Settlement. Yeah. Okay. And Anta, now you can get your, do you have a document of the receipt? No. Yes, I have a sales Please send agreement. all of and that to me on WhatsApp and I'll see how I could get assistance for you. And the receipt for pay. Please send all pay, of no. your documents on WhatsApp yes. and I will see how I can get some help for you. Oh, thank you very much. You are most welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, damn, girl! So, let me post the photo. The individual that we were talking to just now, who was on the phone, lives for fitness. So this is the person we were talking to on the phone just now. And she basically lives for fitness. She lives in the UK. This is um, a Guyanese woman, by the way. And she works at a, a makeup store, but lives, eats, lives and breed fitness, um, right? So when you're here, and, and she's actually working on um, her two... Um, being a fitness trainer, right? Yeah. So, all the people, and why I show you, why I show you, is that some people come and say, oh, 
um, you know, I think and I help. No, 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 no. Hard work and dedication gets you there. I can tell you, I've gone up on this fitness thing. This is not what you got to do. You got to come up with a five-year plan. I am telling you, you're not going to make it to do what I do. I am telling you, there's no doctor who's going to recommend that you stay away from water for three days. And I wouldn't recommend it. If I am in a mental state that last night I turned up the AC in the hope that I do not dehydrate and get a heat stroke in my sleep, you could imagine the crazy extreme I'm on right now. In the month of Ramadan, dry fasting is done for 12 hours. You understand? This three-day dry fast, what are you doing? Is the extreme. If a doctor would recommend it, they wouldn't recommend it. People die after not having water for three days. It ain't no joke. Organs in your body start giving up. Oh, one other side effect. I went off two times yesterday. I think at the really high end of off, as you guys know, I go off constantly. I would just go off from zero to 100 and zero to violence in no time. Under five seconds. Yesterday, the first instance is I send, I have had a cordial relationship with Yokohama Trading. Like I now have with the government of Guyana and a lot of businesses. So what happens? When somebody call with a problem, instead of bashing somebody, I would call the company and say, Ma here, help us get this thing started out. Because me bashing people and not getting the problem solved is just for me fame. It's five minutes and it's done. I want to solve the problem. So Yokohama Trader and me had a relationship like that. I sent for buy two vehicles for them. One for the office, one for the Pui Group. And Nissan Note and a Toyota Rush. Two vehicles one time. Do go through all the process. Right? One pay eight or something thousand dollars, another one pay a million dollar upon. Maybe a million and fifty thousand something like that in the title rush. I come in here Sunday morning. Now the CEO for TBN tell them, Mr. Rodriguez, you know it's TBN, they know. One registering to Tapui Group, one registering to TBN. They know is who thing. They know how I stay. I go for move the vehicles in the yard. They are they pal do the parking lot at the back and so. So I go for move the vehicle. I get the vehicle. I feel the, the, the rush front way. Like the fucking front fall now. A brand new vehicle. So I call, can I say care back this vehicle and get this people? Because this kind of if you selling a vehicle to the Guyanese critic. A man who you know, to some extent, could be scanning, will call you a madman, and all kind of thing. And don't got no cool don't mind and respect to nobody. You ain't gonna check the vehicle properly first. Eh? Knowing that's gonna call you steady and tell you about other people's problem. Right? You ain't gonna check the vehicle first. A C now walk the bottom front feel like it fall I say here. Are you help me out here, partner? Because I feel here, here, this thing gets into my head again. Because I don't really take this kind of disrespect. I go to a man. I go to a man. Let's show y'all. Let's show y'all what, what, what me people is get wrong. Um, T B N. I can show you all the way me people is getting around. Oh, I got some other pictures I want to show you all. I can give you all a little sneak peek and I can leak out something to you all, you know. Is where you coming from.
So I'm going to WhatsApp and I'll show you. I'm going to show you all just now. So, I say, man, I think it is disrespect. Like, I said, I didn't get it. But what happened? It's my own fault. I used to extend a common courtesy for them. Why I got to do anytime anybody tell me about you? Because I'm a trading. I think Tracy. I, and I sent people, you know. When I go for buy PAB 5000, I go there. When I see the whole car, they try to forgive me. I go to Best Buy and buy me car, man. I said, partner, yeah, I can't be serious. You can't even show me a car. We're really showing me a buy. Anybody cap, I say, Yoko, how much trading? Now, first thing, the charge me two point something million dollars for Nissan. No, them thing I sell for 1.8 and then. Because I said, cash, cash me out, cash me out. Tell me how is the interest. And I said, all right. Those were extended to me. I take him. You understand? So, yes, I said, my here, take back the rush. Me, man, I'll fix up, fix up thing. Me and neighbor, them headache. Long time I try with all kind of old things. So, when you pay your money, you want something. And a man like me would have extend a common courtesy to a company like Yokohama. I expect the same in return. You understand? But it's me fault. Common courtesy obviously don't carry you no way. You understand? Anybody call with any issue is morning live. Because imagine I got for God and learn myself that this whole thing I am selling people. You understand? And I send people there. And when people got problem, they call me, it's call and say, partner, please look into this problem. Solve. People call back and say, the matter solve. For I got go. Forget thing with the fudge in front dropping out. It's me fault. I can deal with it like I am, yeah, like I always deal with everybody else. So I called them, I said, man, I drive in coming from yesterday. Right? From over the river, gone and check the road. I call I said, man, we are partner, and I lose it. I think there's one of the side effects of the diet or that one, right? I lose it, and I holler to the top of my voice. They call back in about five minutes. I said, Pat, because I tell him, me want the rush, me want to fix back, take the money, put it for note, the overcharge note, and, and, and tell me what's the difference. It says 300 cents to I pay the difference, and I done with y'all. Me want to turn payment and them thing with them, man. Me want to tie up with them, man. That's it. I can deal with them totally different. I mean, I no secret. I tell you, yes, it I cost and trip the fudge out. It's so serious that me throat hot. Me throat hot. I feel like me throat rip inside. You know what I'm So that's one of the side effects of this diet. I thought I'd have been more calm. Now two times it happened for yesterday. Yesterday I done it in this afternoon. Winston come. Now Winston is one of the biggest cheering I got around me. So we got some bids for selling. This is important that we run into NIS. We run all about the place. Yesterday, I go into the office at Providence. Check and see. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your life finished? No, I'm still on my life. You want to oh. say something? No, no. Yeah. So... This content. Let me feel life. You can't look and see if the life finish or anything finish. What kind of fuck? So I'm telling you, Winston, no. No, this is big business. I put it for some bids. I buy, I spend hundreds of millions of dollars in equipment for these kind of jobs. When someone tell me yesterday, oh shucks, 
I ain't ever carrying the beds. Partner! You know what I know? I go off again. Then when I done, imagine me lock up in a room that nobody's supposed to hear. I suppose the whole of Queenstown here I cussing. Right? Here where he can tell me. This big kindergarten kid. This I can't call you nothing else. Um, the bid was extended. <laughs> you didn't necessarily have to care to yesterday. It was extended. They were making care to it. <laughs> this time I don't dig some cussy he. Here, I just go off. Because I went to the office, take a picture with the bid, watching the thing. Make, I said, all oh, of this pack, I see the thing pack up. I want to know why it ain't gone yet, because I know most of the time bids is, the, the, the day we'd go in is close after nine o'clock. Right? I want to know why you think I'm here. You see when he tell me, ah, oh shucks. And with a face like, it's a sad situation, right? But now, me know how you just check costs. If it's in milliliter, liter. If it's, it's in volume, if it's speed, if it's in shape, how you check costs. But how the costs them come out. Here I tell you, that <laughs> Well, he said costo, right? I said, hey, we have to go to my business. Hey, I dare you, sir. I said, buy you a big jackass, this way is. Yeah, sir. For you come and say, well, um, we get an extended date, the bidding coming. He created suspense, like it's a horror movie. We day in. And, right? Well, I got the good news and I got bad news. Which way am I first? Just bring the fudging news. Yeah, sir? So. All right, let me show you how we're going out here. Show them. This is the buy where the buy used to be. Inside scoop. Right? When I started, this is just intent, eh? It wasn't accidental. There's a, you see my face? You see the shape of my face? My face... Finer even with beard on right now. You see the shape of my face? Sugars. When you come off of sugars, it's the Right? You see how all my hand be fat? You see? Right? You see the belly there? You will see a vast difference. Now, so let me tell you about Yokohama. You see the thing there? That's the new addition to TB, uh, to Pui. Right? It's a bulldozer. A D6 bulldozer. $29 million. I just got picked up. $29 million. Guy tracker is by all. Me, most, a lot of me heavy duty equipment I buy from Guy Track. Go and pick it up. While we driving, going in yesterday, a problem occur. I call him and him and say, take off the hose and bring it. Right, pick up. Yes, yeah, son. I go you, Kohamo. They giving me a thing. We even value the thing. This is the code to see the accent to me. Tell me about the interest and all kind of thing. And then why? And then the button falling out. And expect for I got me cool with them. After I scald them and the dog, dog, I go and pick up $29 million. And at the time I picked up me, I had 29 cents. That is the courtesy that is extended to me by companies who show me, me respect. Because, buddy, I dare. If I a little late, I call you and tell you, you're a little late. The money coming, ministry, and pay me or something. You understand? So when them banner want for no why I tripping with the disrespect, like a blob. Somebody say I was like a blob. Yes. Like a blob. Right? So this is a D6. Um, there's a D6 bulldozer. Just brand new addition to um to Pui Group. And gone. There's there's a, a work site, a diamond. It just gone into. By the way, let me find out if it up and operational. Did you have any advice for me regards this situation? Good morning. Uh, 
I got follow up with them. Oh, somebody, uh, oh, the person I called just wanted to know if I still done the live. They're not seeing the live. Okay. You must be blocked. There are female engineers we working in Guyana who build roads, and there are lots of Guyanese women here, and I live who have construction companies. Seriously, maybe women in Guyana have gotten to the stage of yet. Me no, um, me no, no. No, but this, even the educated women missed the point of what I was talking about. Women who touting themselves as independent. Even educated women miss it. Good morning, critic. I must commend you for the dedication and determination to achieve your goal and your help. Keep up the good work. I got Ralph UK. So I got shared with everybody. I ain't doing this. Well, I think I'm doing this for me alone. Why do you believe I'm doing the physical test myself? Yeah, I said I'd go and forget a fitness trainer for tighten up this belly skin here, you know. And then I think I said, no, you test everything and know what is the best and then you produce it to people. And remember, everybody is different. So I would have to now sit with you and recommend something specifically for you. You understand? And I, yes, I'm going to do a course of that, understand the uh, anatomy of the body, get a better understanding of the body, how the body works. Because I'm having that physical understanding now, but you need to have the theoretical, I have the practical understanding, but I need to go through the theory. I need to sit with di different doctors and get different advice before I could give you advice on what best to do for yourself, right? So one of the other things we have this morning um, to look at is this happened yesterday somewhere in the Buxton area and what's going on here we have no audio um the bun is f thing <laughs> so, people were taking it as joke but if you look at this position of this horse in the car thank god the driver is okay the driver there right he does some way without jaws. He's right there. Yeah. Yeah. So the driver, thankfully, lucky to be alive. Hey, big boy. Thank God, boy. You got next chance. Watch it. Let a man jump at the police station. Get the reason for it. Yes, sir. I never see this in my whole life. It's rude, boy. New car syndrome. Do you drive it in the car still? <laughs> So the horse sitting in the driving seat, dead by the way. Damn. You can imagine the impact. Thank God the driver is okay. The driver there right there. He does some way without jaws. He's there right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God the driver is okay. The car is total. Big boy. Thank God, boy. You got next chance. We glad. We all glad for you, brother. We all glad for you. We all glad for you. I'm thankful. Because too many times I go on them scenes though and see last of life. The other day a banner driving, the banner was manager at one of the, the units at the Jarshang Hospital driving full speed, run off the road and kill himself at Lilliandale, just outside the COVID hospital. Right? So I glad for you, brother. Can we get any calls this morning? Um oh, where is my weight? So let me tell you, my weight is at 209. And I'll be drinking some saline water, right? And I start with just some natural water, get the stomach activated again. And again, this here is a medium shirt that I had, and the medium becoming large on me now, right? That's where I go. My my goal for fat loss is going to take me to 200 pounds because I, I'm going to be doing some lifting, heavy lifting and so on. So when you build muscle, you're going to bring me back to about 215 pounds. But I know, you remember you got fat, visceral fat, you understand? You got fat in between, visceral between the organs and so on. I want to get rid of all of that. My purpose for fasting is getting rid of most of my fat. I want to keep a percentage of body fat because one pound of fat is equivalent to about 3,500 calories. So in fasting mode, like 
let's go and look at what was my um let's go to the page and look at what's my um what is my what was my weight yesterday so we do a comparative analysis why is the page taking so long to load what the fuck is it on this thing? <sighs> All right, so I'm on the page. Show the page completely and put me up in the corner. You, you, you got it. We got a new um, session is off on his vacation. Session has served us well for um, a year so far. So he's off on vacation. And uh, so when you come to our page, you got, um, you know, the different advertisers. You got BM Soot. And... Um, you got all the different things, gizmos and gadgets, um, comfort, sleep, uh, innovation, America, uh, Kisoons, Puran Brothers, Ganesh Spare Parts, who is also Infinity and Cell, um, Sissons Paint. You got the water, and this is the only water that I drink. I'm very loyal, by the way. If you support me, I'm 100% with you. Um, so you got Blue Spring Water, and that's all over the place. You go in any shop, you ask for Blue Spring Water. We got Sylvie's got the things for poultry farms. You got Equipo Tours, um, A Alien Sons. And there's some. So yesterday we were at, yesterday I was at my last wait yesterday morning when I did before and after number one and number two. Um, it would, be, would have been 214.6. So let's do how much weight I've lost in the day and i'm not dry fasting i'm not recommending to anybody it could be life threatening your organs would shut down if you don't know what you're doing you gotta be very careful and i'm gonna tell you what is the process for me after and i'm gonna be doing the drink in the water with a little salt and everything because it's only liquids i'll be doing and then maintaining my fast a liquid fast i'll be maintaining that fast for whatever time it is i don't know if i'm going to go for seven days or whatever maybe five or seven days so i'll maintain that fast and then when i'm done with that fast i've already bought um, a certain amount of pear and everything else so we got um what is the what was the last weight 214.6 and then i come back to oh so i didn't post this morning let me take this down um 214 minus and this is yesterday morning about the same time as on the program we're doing this well i also i did the weight testing was on on the thing right um about the same time in the morning today was a little early i did my test weight test about four o'clock in the morning because i woke up three o'clock and i could not sleep back one of the side effects i realized that if i went off two times went off at the high end if it was in musical terms it would have been a high note to suggest it would have been high note went off totally and um so 214.6 minus oh jesus christ how i end up there 214.6 minus um 209.6 so five pounds i've lost since and again i only use the washroom one time in the morning this would do number one and number two so waste all the the, the solid waste would have add up to maybe an average because you've seen the, the comparative um, here add up to one pound and um, I'm still urinating so still there are liquids in the body that is coming out and I, I think one thirds of the weight that I lose on a daily basis would be weight so I've lost five pounds from yesterday to today um, my ultimate goal is 200 pounds so I got um, maybe by this weekend to lose nine pounds. The intention is I'm going to go on liquid. Yeah, that's that's okay. So I'm going to go on back on liquids um, between 11 and 12 o'clock today and a little bit of salt inside. So that is the, the salt. Sodium will be able to take the liquids right away to um, the cellular structure of my body, transport it all across my body. And that is going to start doing this work I'm going to be re-energized. I'm still going to be doing my five-mile walk in the evening. Um, so it's going to be water, um, 
reintroducing acids in my stomach, um, water mixed with lemon juice. I'll be drinking a lot of lemon juice, um, teas and coffees throughout until the weekend. If it's five days, then it will end on Friday. If it's seven days, then it will end. My fast will end on Sunday um, about lunchtime. But, um, and here, I like to you, eh? the, the saliva in the back of my throat dry, right? It's like froth. Um, so, on the liquid fast, I'll be going either up to Friday or thing. But after that, I've already bought a certain amount of pear because I'm looking at pushing this um, diet that I'm on extreme. I'm looking at how far I could push it because I might be able to go to 195. How am I going to do that? I already get a bag of walnuts. I already get... Um, uh, it's walnuts. Who's the one who looks like brains? Who's the any shell? Um, the two nuts. I got two kind of nuts. I've got cheeses. So I've got about four or five cheeses that I had flown in from the States. Um, goat cheese and some other cheeses. Um, get, is Desrian? Desri's in? Let's just bring the cheeses in the bag for me in the fridge. And let's bring them two bag and nuts so I got upstairs. Now, one of y'all run upstairs and let's bring the cheeses and let's bring the pear with her in the bag there too. If she not start peeling the pear. So, walnuts, no, not pistachios. Pistachios got some, um, some, a lot of sodium inside of it. So, I don't want to, um, so if you're on, Sarah, share the live. Sharmila shared the life. Suzanne shared the life. Uncle Ray, what's going on? This, 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 this the, Ray, the the original Ray Rahama. No, they look like a. They look like a, 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 a imposter Ray Rahama. This is not the original Ray Rahama. But if this you name, I got kind of different cheeses. I'm gonna show you guys so you get an understanding of what's going on. This is real. This shit is real. You understand? This shit is real. If I think me spit out me mouth right now, it looks like, like soap suds. Because I'm feeling it in my mouth. It's like soap suds in your mouth. Right? So I got different cheeses. And most likely I'll be going on that for another week. When I do come off the, 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 the fast, it will be cheeses, pear. I might have to do that for two times a day. But cheeses, nuts, and pears alone. Certain things, only fatty foods, because I don't want to do that transformation. Right now, in ketosis, my body's only using ketones, right? So lots of fatty foods before I go back onto my carnivore diet, right? So I got to look at the kind of liquids that I'm using, and I'm working on um, different teas, different health foods that I'm going to go on with, and I could share with you. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long it take for, for get a bag? We in the same building or they gone up on the eighth floor. This is a, a ten story I didn't realize the building a ten story. The elevator I'm walking. Where where does does Jane come? Yeah, yeah. So what's she doing? She all she gotta do is take the, the bag with the cheese and bring all the bag with the cheese. So walnuts. I got a whole bag of walnuts. Right? Um, almonds. A whole bag of almonds. And these are, this is dry roasted almonds. We should done cut up the pear. All right, no problem. Thanks. So. This is this is some of the cheeses, right? Nice whole cheeses. I try to stay away from um, this is a Dutch tradition. Gouda cheese, right? This one of the cheeses. Aga 
goat cheese, right? Corkland Coastal, right? And all these is nice tasting cheese. You try to stay more to natural than the process. I like the, 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 um, them slices of cheese where you always be eating, them slices, that thing there's not cheese. You gotta get real cheese, a real cheese, right? And the original, you guys remember Kerry Gold, the original Kerry Gold, right? Dubliner, the 100% natural cheese. I said Mark Dubliner. All these cheeses are natural made cheeses, right? Goat cheese. Fresh creamy. Right? Kirkland. And you, you check and see where's the thing distributed by whoever. Right? And the rest of pears cut, but I got an, a set a small pears like this. So it's going to be basically after I come off of whether it's a five day or seven day diet and I'm looking at how much weight I'm going to lose. So sure about the weight thing, I'm at 209 right now. And my intention is to get to 200 in my fast. So I'm losing about five pounds a day with my walk and everything else. With the liquids, that's going to balance out. Because my body is going to start absorbing water like crazy. And you could absorb two, three pounds of water a day when I start drinking water at 11 o'clock today. My body is going to hungry for water. It's going to be like a sponge and start absorbing water. So the weight loss, you're not going to see. You're not going to notice it right away. Right? So it's going to cut down from now to tomorrow. I calculate with the water that I'm going to drink. Although I'm going to be passing a lot of it back out, the body is going to retain because the body is dehydrated. It's thirsty right now. So a lot of it is going to, um, I'm going to maybe lose three pounds tomorrow and three pounds, right? So I got to take that. I'll be doing either five days or seven days, depending on my weight loss, because the goal is 200. Now, I want to do a five pound move. So when I come, all of this is good stuff. You understand? So, walnuts, almond nuts, um, the pears, I bought a set of pears yesterday like this, but most of them cut up, right? And the cheeses, when you go for these cheeses, when you check, you got to make sure is 100% cheese and not too much additives and not too much processing, right? Among the serving, you got the calories, you got the fats, right? You got everything in here. So I got this one, two three four five different kind of cheeses i got oh there's another pear right but nice these are a little hard but i gonna be running on pears and cheeses for um yeah so i'll be running on pears and cheeses for maybe a few days more um that's after my five or seven day fast. I haven't decided and I'm looking at how I lose weight because you got to be careful with it. When the body transforms into fat burning, right, carbs could throw it off immediately. Fat burning is bordering on how the body feels about starvation. So the body could be in fat burning and feels it's starving. You got to be able to trick the body to understand what's going on because right away, if you touch any carbs, then the body feel, oh God, I was in starvation. Let me start store up. Let me start store up. And you put on back. Right? So you got to be careful and make sure you stay in ketosis. Right? So you got clean keto and you got a little dirty keto. But I like me, I am on a carnivore diet, lots of protein. But I'm going to go in with my nuts, cheeses, and, and, and good fats, all healthy fats. And I'm going to run with that maybe for a week more. When this supply of stuff done, I got, I got break it up. How long the nuts gonna last? Those are gonna be light on the stomach, because right away today when I start using a little bit of salt in the water, eleven o'clock I'm gonna do that with you guys and show you exactly what I'm doing, and and tell you how I feel, and that's also a process I'm gonna take you through. So, um, as soon as I'm making preparations. To, to start to eat, what I do is supply the, the body 
with much needed, the, the stomach as a matter of fact, with much needed acids. Right? So what I do is mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar, maybe a tablespoon or two, into half bottle of this water. I drink half of the water and throw a tablespoon and then I drink thing and prepare the stomach. The stomach has acids. Then I start processing my cheeses and my nuts and so on. I eat that. And most likely, normally as we fasting on a daily basis, naturally, as we fasting for 24 hours in a day. But now this is the case. I will be fasting for 18 because I'll do something, eat at 12 o'clock, and then I'll have something for dinner again, a supply of cheeses. When this is done, I'll have my cheeses cut up and set in amongst that I could use. Again, um, between is just coffee or tea. And I'll have these and when this is finished then I'll going back to my carnivore diet by then I would have attained um, maybe my 95 200 pound and when I say 95 why I'm really testing when I'm doing a dry fasting is to make sure I get out all the liquids in my body that I could do a test to know what really is left there because a lot of time when you're weighing you, you, you are not able, your doctor might be able to make accommodations for the liquids in your body and do a minus. But I need to know what exactly is the fat weight in my body. What is, what is my direct weight? What is my solid weight? Uh, at least to the closest point. You can't know because no matter what, most of all your tissues, even your bones are made up of 70% liquid um, water. 70% of your bones, hard bone is made up with water. You understand? So you have to know these things. And I'm not recommending this to anybody. What I'm doing, I'm being the guinea pig. I'm going through the process that you could, I could come now and be informative to you in the future. And I can tell you where I have come from being, as one person said, a blob. Right? So let me show you. This is where I came from. Right? This is double XL used to be tight for me. This is where I came from. Look at my face. Look at my facial structure, everything. You understand? My skin used to be tight. Right, that was, look at that. Imagine my facial structure with beard now is finer than it used to be. Oh, the difference, you're gonna see the difference soon. Me and doing, I do it from start and finish. Me and doing pieces. I could show you how I look. When I done, I want to show a six pack, a six pack I show you. What I could tell you is that I don't have a tummy. You understand? What I could show you is I ain't got a tummy. That's what I could show you. From there to no tummy. You understand? Me ain't got a tummy, but I got a little skin here. I got a little skin lagging here. Well, when I don't tone up though, when I show you the difference in me, people must watch it. It's a dagger for me Photoshop. That's what I want. I want to cast controversy on the internet. Because nobody else in Guyana could show the level of transformation. You understand? Nobody has been able to record that I have a friend who does 100 and something pounds, 120 pounds in a year. And I'll be including him in my weight loss program and talk. Because he has done more than me. Hello, good morning, critic returning on my call. Yeah, my remind, remind us to take the picture um, about your whole month. You don't forget. What's that? Tell your father what you about Yoko Homo. I was the talk about Yoko Homo. Mm. I ain't done talk about them. No, no. I thought I don't. Me don't talk about them. Oh, yeah. No, what? What showing you the level of disrespect with them? So I tell them, I take back one of the vehicle. You might people, who's by two, you know, who you know, which customer you know, pull up on and say, watch, let me get two vehicle. You understand? Know I go out of people pick up $29 million in thing. This is the respect, this is the courtesy, this is what I expect. If I call you and say, brother, this is the situation. 
But what I do with them from I do a whole episode on them. When anybody call me with problem from Yokohama, is lambase, I can lambase them. I try to be nice. But this is what you get for trying to be nice. That is what perturbed me with them because them specifically, I call them every time. I never made it public. I call them every time. And say, man, this is the situation. You understand? But then it happen no more. Here. We do we our. So somebody asked him for a picture of what I looked like what I look like now. And um no no when I done when I done a show y'all me, you must watch and say, yeah. Real thing. Yeah, sir. Are they going for look for fitness trainer? But don't worry. Every time I hear success is wholly and solely dependent. Oh, I gotta go and do something with the ring. Right? I gotta go and do something with my ring. And I gotta go and do something with them watch. They gotta take off a band, maybe one of the links on the watch. All the watches them and so get tight. It's only the other watches them where you could band with the strand, the, the strap bands that you could think. So I'm hoping today has been as informative as always. And um, the only thing you could expect from me is being real. I don't know if we've covered everything, but you know, you guys could call anytime and I can't say I'm not going to go off, but you can call and say whatever you want. Stay real.